Hey guys and goddesses, Whitney here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Moments with Wit, and today I will be telling y'all about my VMA experience. Yes, y'all, the VMAs, I was there, it was grand. If y'all are interested in seeing my look for the day and some clips that I have, stay tuned and keep on watching. So everyone's been asking me how I got the tickets. They were all like, how'd you get the tickets? How much were they? When'd you get them? How'd you score them? All that jazz. My guy and I got them a couple months ago after a taping of Joking Off. It was supposed to be like, if you go to the taping at the end, there's a raffle and you get free tickets. It was only supposed to be for like maybe a couple people. But at the end of the taping a couple months ago, it was like, a handful of people that stayed behind and waited so they just gave everybody tickets and it was just like great we didn't actually get the tickets until literally three days before the show and i was like he was like emailing them like yo what's up where the tickets at and they were like you'll get it closer to the show and i was just like babe we're not going to the vmas we get no tickets i'm gonna find an outfit because we get no tickets so we finally got the tickets like literally two days before the show the day of we went and they said nobody get there before six o'clock so being punctual people that we are we like got there around 5 30 and like waited in the car until like five something and walked to the line when we got there the line was wrapped around the block and it was just like okay 6 30 by that time the guy's filing this out and then it turns into it was just three rows and we happened to be in the last three rows and people were like talking, like, oh my god, maybe forgot about us. He came back, he was just like, I'll be right back. Sit tight. We all know what sit tight means. Everyone started panicking. They were just like, we're not going to get in. They're going to forget about us. They're going to the lights on us. We're just going to be here. We're not going to get to go to the pit. I felt like the guy noticed that we were all giving him dead stares because we saw him see us and keep picking other people. And we we're just like, he finally came back to us and he walked us up to the top of the stairs or whatever and a girl was supposed to walk us to our seats or area of standing. So you get there and the girl says, if you lose me, I will not find you, so keep up. That's what she said, keep up. We're like, cool. I was like, listen, there are mad people behind me, I'm on your back, we're gonna do the buddy system, I'm just hold your hand, girl, and we're gonna get where we're trying to go. So we're like walking through and we get to about the like third floor which is the like basically the second main level and she turns around to like a group of 30 of us and she's just like you guys were following me sis you told us to follow you why would we be following you so we're just like okay her walkie stopped working so she was trying to figure out where we're supposed to be and finally after maybe i want to say 15 minutes of waiting again in a hall where we shouldn't have been we finally got filed into the arena and into the pit and it was just like so many people but there was so much space so we're just like cool the stage is right here it was so beautiful i will insert a clip of the stage and how close we were The VMAs are live taping, everyone knows that. We're supposed to start at nine. While we're waiting, I'm like looking in the crowd and spotting all these celebrities. And like blockers, YouTubers, so many people. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is so dope. Saw Amber Rose, Diddy, Winnie Harlow, Tracy Ellis Ross, Kanye and Kim were sitting like in the front. I really was just checking for Kanye. I was like, oh my God, it's Kanye. Then we start looking at the stage and how close we are. And I see them setting up and I'm like, oh my God, five minutes till showtime. Who's gonna be the first performer? And the first performer was Rihanna. When I tell you, as soon as she came on, before she even came on, where we got the tickets, they told us, no one should have their phone. If you have your phone out, it's really bad for TV. We're gonna tap you on the shoulder and you'll be escorted out. I'm thinking, how strict are these rules? Because it's about 600 of us. How are you gonna tap everyone and get us out the crowd? Cause you need us for TV. So I was just like, okay. I was like, I'll wait. I didn't record really the first shoot, but 
Rihanna was the first performer. Her girls in their pink outfits and her ponytail. She was slaying. She was giving me all types of life. People were shouting behind me. The queens were going crazy. And I was just like, oh, Riri, you're like right there. You look so good. She was like, do a hello dance. It was great. It was so cute. Then it was just like, every time I hit commercial break, all the celebrities like kind of crowded together and were like chatting and stuff. And then I saw Crystal from The Read. I nearly fell out. I was just like, there's Kim Kardashian, but Crystal! I was dying. She was just like so beautiful and she looks so good. And I was like, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Is it gonna stop recording? For the purposes of not having this video be like 16,000 minutes long, I'll tell you my best and worst experience at the VMAs and the performances that I loved. Of course, Queen B. The Security guards came up with the rule of no phones. When Beyonce came on the stage, sis, when I tell you that no phone rule went out the window, everyone was just like, Beyonce, girl, I love you. And I was just there like, babe, I swear, I'm gonna sneak a record real quick. But I did it, cause I was just watching. I enjoyed hearing DJ Khaled but not actually having to see DJ Khaled. He was like, you a star, you a superstar, you a shooting star. And I was just like, sir, we get it. We the part of the universe, we the galaxies, we are everything. And I just need you to calm down. Beyonce won looking like, <sighs> guys, I will insert the clip of Beyonce. She was just everything. She was giving me natural textures and just godly goddessness. It was just everything and a half. And she was so close to me and I was just like, I'm saying. She was beautiful. It was amazing. When Kanye was saying his speech, I before I get in there, my guy was just like, they're gonna give Kanye four minutes to talk about whatever he wants. And I was just like, they will do what? Okay. But he said his speech and then he released or debuted Fade. Listen, as soon as it came up on the screen, I was like, okay, Tiana Taylor is so underrated to me. I think she is beyond dope. Like vocally, her style, her fashion sense, her body, her body her body and her freaking dances like she is just triple threat she's super talented she killed it and i was just like i loved it some people in the crowd were hating on it i'm not gonna front i didn't really understand the end and when she turned into a cat i was like she said she's a cat with some sheep it was a little crazy but it was super dope and britney was there the queens loved her she curved that kid he looked like machine gun kelly g easy she curved him it was like a moment i was like ooh. it was basically an extended rihanna concert because it was like rihanna somebody could talk rihanna somebody else come talk rihanna i wasn't mad at it at all she was serving up all the looks her outfit her outfits her outfits everything and a half and just it was just an amazing experience. Like the overall experience, minus the sticky people in the crowd. I had to give people the stiff arm a couple times. I was just like, listen, y'all see me see y'all. And I know you trying to get close to the stage. We're all out here for the same movement. We all want to touch who we love. Don't touch me when you're sticky and clammy and wet. And a girl was standing in front of me, y'all. Her hair smelled like corn chips. Straight up, corn chips. And the final moment that everyone was trying to answer, but we still didn't get no answers because Drake and Rihanna like to play this game with our feelings and like hug real close and kiss on the cheek slash neck slash ear moment that was happening. It was just like, all right, Drake with this five minute speech about how much you love this girl as she smiles and looks at us. She was looking at the crowd like, mm-hmm. Y'all hear him? Y'all hear him? He loved me. I feel like if I was home watching it, I would have been like, 
this is all right but the fact that i got to see everybody and like all the things that happened between the commercial breaks like amber rose smoking a cigarette and just being like i'm here i guess and this pregnant woman with a blazer everybody came out with the style that night with the blazer with no shirt on designer ty dollar sign ty dollar sign was looking like some real butter and then she came out with her blazer and no shirt just belly and I was just like yes miss I understand it's warm in here there is no air circulating so live your life like it's golden I am gonna show y'all what I wore and how it was cute little style moment that I had Overall, my VMA experience was one of the best things I did this summer. I was super stoked about it, super blessed to be there, saw all the beautiful people, saw all the dope performances, got my life, Beyonce snatched everybody's edges, Beyonce just, she just, it was great. I just wish there was more Beyonce. I wish Lil Blue came out and scurried across the stage real quick and was just like, hey y'all and just went back where she was living. It was just a beautiful show. And I had a good time. Thanks again for watching. Do not forget to comment, subscribe, like, tell me what your favorite part of the VMAs were. And um, stay beautiful, stay blessed.